Ask my mom. That's true. Oh. Do we have any more scales? The VOD is fricked up. It skips a couple seconds now and then. Honestly, I think that might be because I'm still streaming. I don't know that for certain. Yeah, is it this VOD or... I mean, sometimes I'll just... I'll give you the sauce, right? We have enough. Let's go. Um, it's all VODs? Okay, that's probably a Twitch issue then. But like sometimes people will hit me and be like, just so you know, your new YouTube video doesn't show up on like Android devices. And I'm like, uh, and just go fix that. I'm just kind of like, I'm stuck. All right. So is Champion Gundir, is that a, uh, is that a dead end? It's not a dead end. Well, let's go that way then. Thank you, thank you. I hit the wrong uh, button. Because I'm used to playing the Nintendo Switch. Oh, this smoothie is sending me. Fully sent. It's also way too loud. There we go. Alright, so we crushed this guy, and it wasn't even hard. Nameless King might be today. You never know. You never know. Did I get the gesture? The prostrate? You did. Okay. And then this is like inverted fire link, is that correct? This part of the game is like a little preview of New Game Plus. I hear big steppers. If he actually beats Nameless, rip a legendary NL meme. I mean, until 2020 is just Kylo Ren, but good. That was a great attack. It's it's slowly checking off all the things on my list that I gave up at some point in the past. But you ruined it. For a long time, I blamed myself for not wanting to finish Hollow Knight. And I kind of felt bad about it. I was like, oh, I didn't give this game the... the I only said I liked it when I should have said I loved it. What a fool I was. Then I watched Malf get frustrated by the exact same things I got frustrated by. Which is chat being like, good video, but by the way, here's an essay about why actually... You've made a terrible mistake disrespecting this game and blah, blah, blah. And I went, no, actually, I was right. I was right the whole time. The game is great. It's just, it's, it's just one of those games where the community is just a little bit, just a little bit too much sometimes. Like Undertale. Yeah, but Undertale was kind of like... It went fine because I just did everything chat wanted. I went into it being like, I'm just gonna... Hello, Tomo. What's wrong, man? He's had very powerful meows lately. Chaos Blade. What is it, buddy? Hello. Whoa! 
no, 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 no. Tomo, you don't go behind the monitor, okay? Tomo, you got to get out from there, buddy. Here he goes. You got another little glimpse, and he's gone. <laughs> um, okay, we're down through here. So yeah, that's my position on Hollow Knight. Pretty much everything else, I will, uh... You know, I mean, Nameless King is really, like, the last one I need to tick off to kill that meme. Everything else, pretty much under control. I, I, I've reached, uh, I've reached peak NL. We're in a golden era. But, but I will not play more Hollow Knight. I will not play Hollow Knight again, and I'm not going to play the DLC when it comes out. I'm taking a hardline stance. Coiled Sword Fragment. Yo, do you think that's an Estus? A lost lamb wandereth in with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? What do you got? Oh, I thought those were shards, and I was like, you fool. You've given me too much. Artorius stuff. It's Artorius' stuff, dude. Best not to <laughs> She is Artorius? This is for the randomizer. <laughs> that felt good. I haven't yeeted an NPC in a long time. Plus, hey, free ring. I'm with you. Gotta give him, give him one of those. Those ashes. Where, where's these steps? You're stepping like crazy. Oh, thank you for reminding me, by the way. I forgot because uh, I still don't have Valorant. I gotta go to twitch.tv slash dumb dog and then is he playing Valorant? he is and then I just gotta have it on just the itty bittiest volume level possible there you go okay problem solved <laughs> if I get it that would be hilarious Does he have drops? Uh, everybody in the Valorant community has drops. Is your Riot account linked? My Riot account is linked, for the record. By Andre, there is an illusory wall. Oh! oh. Down the stairs, hug left. Like this way. This way. Nope. Okay. The other stairs. I mean, okay. It's the left when you exit, not the left when you look at it. Understood. What do you think about Apollo's name? In, uh, in Valorant? I've always known that he's a big fan of, uh, hockey. He just loves hockey. He's always enjoyed the the frozen disc. 
put one of these bad boys. Coiled Swirt Fragment. Uh, what the heck was that? It's below gold coin. Did you hear that? It went... Shrine bonfire. Have you seen the movie Slapshot? I have seen the movie Slapshot. Welcome home, sweet. It is a good movie. Are these, these eyes. Are these eyes. Crying. How gracious of the Ashen. eyes. I have seen a lot of lows, but they're never gonna see another one. Firekeepers have been missing. Like I had with you. Do 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 do. Do 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 these eyes. Ah. <laughs> you know you're singing too loud when you see your microphone wiggle a little bit. Do, 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 do. So is there other stuff at untended graves, or are we we out there? One second here. Go to the dancer bonfire. Is that really? Oh, because Osiris is he? Osiris, aka loser, who we destroyed easily. I understand. I remember now. Now you go up. Now you go up. We don't have to do nameless right away. Maybe we'll beat Prince Lothian first. We go straight up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, how could we not make nameless? Like, I'm pretty sure after we kill, like, uh, Lord of Cinders or whatever the heck his name is, um, we might no longer be able to fight any bosses. However,. Apart from that, I truly think the Nameless King should be last. And if you don't think so, then I sh certainly hope you have not made any jokes about the Nameless King over the years that have led me to make that decision. I'm clean. <laughs> you can do Nameless last for real? We'll see. There's a lot of consequences to getting that one wrong. I believe you, but I'm also like, maybe it's just not worth chancing it just for the spiritual aspect. Hey, where'd you come from? You can do it. I did it. I mean, I, again, it's like, I believe you, but if... Like, if it ends up being wrong, you don't pay the price. You just go, oops, I must have misremembered, or maybe they issued an update. Meanwhile, I gotta deal with all the, the tears of the Hulkamaniacs out there, you know? Just heal. You know what, buddy? You're a real piece of garbage. You took all my this, you jerk. Get him one more time! Hit him one more time! I can't be mad. His defense is impenetrable. Look, here's the thing. Let's just stop talking about it. It doesn't matter. What we've turned this into is, is the worst kind of argument. It's an argument where the consequences of it are completely meaningless. It's just about who's right and who's wrong about 
a, a simple game mechanic situation. We're both losers just for participating in the argument in the first place. It's not a situation where, like, if we come to a resolution, it's going to give us an incredible amount of value. We are, we are both lesser for having participated in the discourse to begin with. No, my 3,000 souls. Dude, stop healing him, you jerk. Okay, here's the thing. We're going to run you down. Then, we're going to flawless you. Oh, we almost popped. You started it by replying. You, you see? Conflict, they go, that's okay, you're right. There's a large percentage of people that are somewhere in the middle. Then there's a, still a moderately high percentage of people who are like, the argument's over. I can't stand for that. I've been one of those people. This guy is very strong. He's got... Norman Osborn eyes. It's about getting the last word. I'm telling I, I get that, like, my show is predicated upon uh, banter. But banter is like fame. A conversation where you can entertain one another. You know what? Nobody kills me five times in a row. The problem becomes when I extend that to chat. <laughs> I gotta remember that I'm the guy, I'm the North Star. Instead of getting roped into bad faith arguments, I just gotta ask you how many times you poop daily. Okay, here's the thing. You come this way. You walk up slowly and up smash. As you sprint, you now realize you've made a tactical mistake. Your healer has been killed. I have broken your poise and your resolve. You still got me. Incredible. How does he do it? He's too good. It used to be once every three days. That's not good. That is... That is very, very not good. That's in the range of normal. I'm gonna have to disagree with that one. It's fun. He's actually lived. Kate will vouch for this. The angriest, or the, well, let's not say angry, but like the most frustrated I ever get is when she tries to ask it a surprising dearth of like just me time on a daily basis you know i'm streaming which is definitely not me time um help this is just a great attack right there i i don't get a lot of time to just sit you know with my thoughts and let them um just percolate which is important for me for like spiritual you know, growth and, and understanding and defragmenting the day. So when I when I go into the bathroom, I get my mind ready for a meditative bowel movement. And then sometimes I hear like tuk 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 and it's Kate coming down the stairs and then she'll say something and then I'll go, huh? Which is my way of saying I'm indisposed right now. And then she'll go, what are you doing? Which I always think is a very strange question to ask somebody who's in the bathroom with the door closed. 
I go, I'm pooping! And then she goes, okay. And then we have the conversation later. I don't like to be interrupted mid-pooping. I'm all business in there. You and me both, buddy? Exactly. That's, that's me time. my sanctuary exactly I'm I'm available for questions comments autographs etc etc at all other parts of the day pretty much I'm on call 24 7 you've you've seen it I'll be recording an Isaac episode and then I'll be hold on a second the door is ringing or hold on a second one of the cats threw up I'm on call the only time Every time I forget about you. The only time I don't want to be on call is Vince pooping. What boss are you fighting next? I'm fighting a boss right now called One Tall Man followed by Two Tall Men. He's actually made some progress. I think you have life figured out, brother. Thank you. That's that's a very nice thing to say. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty centered. I'm pretty balanced, you know. I'm in a good spot. I don't I don't get wavered off my baseline too much. There's no way we're not getting text. Yo. My ex-girlfriend would cry if I took too long pooping because she thought I was cheating on her. What? I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna say any more there. I'm just gonna say what I said. What? That's one of those situations where I, you know, I, I follow like some of those Reddit or uh, Twitter accounts that are like subreddits like r slash relationships where people post like awful problems from awful people. And then like, my husband kicked me. Am I overreacting? And you're like, no lady, get out. And most of the time, I just kind of go like, you know, this is sad. That one, I'm like, dude, good on you for getting out of there. Did you see the one of those that was like, uh... So the guy was, and I, who knows whether it's real, right? But the guy was, uh... Sensitive about the fact that he had thinning hair. So his girlfriend, um... He, he was mad, because she would sometimes make fun of him. She'd be like... Your hair's thinning. You're gonna be bald when you're older. Uh, and then he got so tilted that she said that stuff that instead of saying, hey, just so you know, we're in a relationship together, uh, so like I respect you, but like I'm kind of sensitive about that, so if you could stop making those jokes, that would be fine. That would be nice for me. Instead of saying that, like a normal person, he said, that's okay. When I go bald in my 50s, I'll just get a hair transplant using your mustache. And then he was like, did I overreact? And I was like, yeah. I, I think you might regret that one in the morning. You Let me be clear, by the way, you owned her. That was a great comeback. Unfortunately, that is also not the way that two people in a relationship talk to each other. Now, also, trust me. As the Roast Master General, you got her. You definitely won the roast. On the other hand, I think you're gonna regret that one. I can't believe that there are people that are like, he was justified. 
I mean, she's also being kind of a jerk for pointing out his insecurity. But if he never says, like, hey, just so you know, banter's all well and good, but, like, that actually hurts. She would probably be like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know, I was just teasing. Also, like, get over it, dummy. It's just hair. What's wrong with you, baby? <laughs> you little, little baby gonna cry because you're you got no hair on your scalp? Come on. I thought there was a boss here. I agree with you, but why can't she just get over it? Well, it's like, basically, it's like if somebody teased you, and then you got offended, and you hit them with, like, a nuclear bomb. Yo. Like, the purpose of banter... Is like it's a conversational help. It's a conversational test. I can't use Estus. So somebody hits you with like a little tease, and you go, you know, well that's cool. Like you know, it's all right. When I get bald, I'll just get jacked, and I don't know. You make like a punchline out of it or something like that. I'm better on the fly when I'm not distracted by how thirsty I am for Estus. Um, you don't go, yeah, well, on the bright side, at least I don't have hair on my face, which is something unwomanly of you. Like, it's just a little too, you're, you're going a little too hard on the reply there. I also think that you're, you're not taking the context into account here, which is like they're in a relationship together. The purpose of being in a relationship is not to own them in the marketplace of ideas. You know, if a stranger went up to you and you were like, or if a stranger came up to you and was like, ha, a, a, a woman that, you know, you've been talking to your friends with and you're like, hey, maybe we're going to get married one day. I could really see us starting a family. Like if your first inclination is to like, <laughs> She teased me and made my feelings hurt, so I'm gonna own her. That's, that's in my opinion, a, a hilarious juvenile mindset. That's a yikesable moment. It's like, I get it, you're sensitive. I can tell you're sensitive, because a little light teasing led you to reply with uh, a nuclear bomb insult. If you can't take it, don't dish it out. How about... I mean, the... The guy can't take it. That's why his, his feelings were hurt, so he replied with a burn. And I, I would say, rather than saying, if you, you know, can't take it, don't dish it out, what you should say is, like, if you can't take it and you're talking to, like, a person you respect and might want to, like, spend the rest of your life with, you should say, hey, when you said that thing, that kind of hurt my feelings. So I would appreciate if you didn't say things like that again. And then you can, like, you know, build a relationship from, from that point onwards, you know, instead of, you're going to spit fire at me. I told you. How did you react when you found out you were going bald? Well, I, um, when my college roommate told me, hey, you're going bald, I looked at him and I said, that's okay, I'll just get a hair transplant with your mustache. It's a good line, don't get me wrong.
It's not a bad idea. I'll go. I feel like I have a memory of being in this area and it, hating it. Doesn't an enemy rush me down here or something? Big time enemy? Not you. You're not so bad. Ah! Way to go, idiot. You can't even fit through the door. How are we supposed to teach hollows how to kill when they can't even fit inside of the building? How about you? You normal? You a normo or an abnormo? You're an you're an, an abnormo. Come on. You're all abnormos. This is normo here. That's fair. It's all right. When I go hollow, I'll just. Ember up with the hair from his mustache. Stop hitting me. I have to get in close to hit you. It's true, I've got my own mustache. You're not wrong. I'd prefer not to grow it, though. It looks kind of icky. I'm just always reminded of like the one time we were on Team Unity and somebody in chat was like, help me. Hey, NL, my, my girlfriend asked me if I thought her friend was like fat and I gave her the honest answer and now she's mad at me. What are your thoughts on this subject? And both Dan and I were like, you know, you should recognize that an invitation to be brutally honest still has to be handled with tact. And a lot of chat, and also Apollo, was like, well, if she didn't want the honesty, she shouldn't ask for it. And I'm like, all right, now you're both mad. <laughs> you might be right in principle, but you've created a situation in which no one is happy. Where are you hiding? Are you on a kite in the sky? You're in the wrong game. How's Valorant farming going? I'll, I'll tab when I go to the next bonfire. I'm starved, dude. I'm starved for this freaking... This looter shooter, which is not a looter shooter at all, but... I'm freaking starved for it. I got no Estus. Look, it's all right. We'll just Estus up before we fight. Mm! He made his way up the stairs. How dare you. He's got poise. Big boys have poise. It's like how in Mario Kart, if you see a big boy, you know they're going to be fast. Great attack. That, that's a tough one. In the future, my advice to myself is dodge. I did know that, yeah. Everyone looks so different. <laughs> I look exactly the same. I, I think I look pretty much the same, too. You look pretty good. Oh, thank you. you. You're, like, thinner. I'm thinner now or thinner then? Thinner then. Yeah, I'm bulkier now. 
There's no. But in, but then I don't know. When in you were good 20. ways and bad ways. I've never seen you when you were 20. We met when we when I was 22. No, 23. 20, 23, yeah. I mean, it was pretty close. I had a I had a huge change in university, around age 20, where I shaved my hair, um, and put on some weight, and at 20. Oh. Uh, why am I back here? Was I not supposed to? Is there a shortcut? I'm just watching. <laughs> My back is itchy. I can watch? You can watch. I just, I'm saying there's a double standard, Chad. What is? No, we were making a joke from earlier. But I was like, if I, I think if I came into Kate's stream and just stood beside her and scratched my back, <laughs> in about two seconds, she would be like, what are you doing? And I'd be like, I'm just scratching my back and watching. She'd be like, get out! What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, but then when you're itching your back, it's you itching the back. Mm. When I'm itching the back, I'm itching Luna's back. My back oh, well, is itching because Luna. I understand. It's, you're, you're scratching the back of my child as well. Exactly. I, I never felt this itchiness throughout my body until I got pregnant. That's fair. So I would have not itched my body. You're telling me just because my wife is pregnant and I love her, I have to be nice to her? That's fucking stupid, dude. <laughs> That's simp behavior. You should upload the, the photo of you when you were You want me to peel you an orange? How about you peel an orange? I thought we had equality. She was she said she would peel my head. Great attack. Oh no no no. Oh, no, no, no. Time to post on Reddit. Was this too far? My wife tickled me, so I punched her in the chest. Did I go too far? Top comment is like, not everybody likes to be tickled. She should have asked first. You drop this, King. Yeah, who pays the rent? Your, your rent, your rules. That's my motto. Hold on. Hold on. We go this way now? I forgot I hated this area. You go back to the bridge. Okay. You go back to, you go back to the bridge. You go left under the bridge. Back to the bridge. How about that? Is that what you're looking for? No. No, but there's good items. Okay, I'll do it. An undead bone shard. I can make this jump. I can make this jump. I can. My bone shard, dude. Yo, that was good. Twinkling! We do need twinkling. Alright, so now we use the infinite homeward bone to go back to where we just were. Clear your quick bar? Absolutely not. I would never. These items have been with me since the beginning. You want me to just yeet them at the first sign of a newer model? Absolutely not. 
give me the big hammer? I'll tell you. If Dark Souls had, like, a way to move the camera back so I could actually get a better view with the hammer, I would use the hammer. As is right now, it, I honestly just can't use it. Ah, oh, great shot. Wow, amazing. Great shot. What are you drinking, King? Oh, it's a little beverage called Barely Nutting. I'm just being honest. You guys are wicked annoying. Just in so annoying you actually made me adopt a Massachusetts accent. But what is what is somebody called when they're from Massachusetts? And don't say masshole. That's like the Jimmy Fallon quiplash answer. They've gotta be called like a Macedonian or something, right? Oh my god. We're so lucky. Never mind. Please, sir. I would just like to use just the slightest bit of Estes. It's Bostonian. No, what if they're from like Worcester? Or Amherst? It's Massachusettsin? Massachusettsin? That's stupid. You guys were right. Is masshole from now on? No wonder everybody's saying that. That's the hardest word to spell in the English language. But at least it rolls off the tongue. Vancouverite. Massachusettsin is just. That's just madness. It's bad. What's someone from Ottawa called? I'll level with you. I don't know the answer to that question. I can't believe it. I actually... I thought they were called, like... Ottawatonians. A federal employee. <laughs> That is one of my favorite go-to jokes, is in almost every circumstance, you could reply to any comment with, sounds like a government job, and it will, it will make maybe not a great joke, but the joke will at least have a coherent premise. You made that joke yesterday? It's because it's evergreen. It always works. And people, they do laugh at it. Nobody knows what it means, but everybody laughs at it because they don't want you to know what, that they don't know what it means. Don't fool me 25 freaking times. Shame on me. Why is he walking like that? I don't like that. What the frick is that? Send an emoji. No, oh, I'm he's eating your legs. This is a fun section. I'm from Louisiana. What's my favorite food? I have a question for you, sir. I get, for whatever reason, a lot of TikToks with tags like Louisiana boys, who dat, like a lot of a lot of stuff like that. And I have to know, do y'all 
really get together and eat boiled crawfish out of a large Coleman cooler on the center of your of your front porch? Cause that fucking rules. That is I had no idea that was a thing. I've seen about I don't know, maybe half and half a dozen videos recently of a bunch of dudes getting together in Louisiana, cracking open a, a Coleman cooler and just eating a bunch of mud bugs with their bare hands. I had no idea. It rules, but I hate crawfish. Fair enough. I saw another one. It was like two dudes driving back from Las Vegas. And they would, again, it was tagged like, only in Louisiana. And it was like, guess what, boys? We just came back from Vegas, found a place that was selling bags of crawdads. And the dude was just eating it out of like a plastic grocery bag with his bare hands. And his hands were just covered with like red shellfish juice. And he was licking it off. <laughs> and I was like... Oh my god. This is just... This is just madness. It's just vile. <laughs> I, dude, I mean, I got nothing but respect for it. You're really living your best life just eating a bag of seafood in the passenger seat of your best friend's ride, but like... Certain level was like, you know, you don't want like a napkin or something? <laughs> oh, you're awake. Charge it up. Resin. The sword of resin. Beautiful. I actually tried to loot him. I've become everything that I hate. So anyway, that's... That's all I know about Louisiana. But, oh, sorry, sir. That and, uh... I know that, uh... Louisiana has New Orleans, which is the uh, one of the cultural capitals of the United States, the birthplace of jazz, and also uh, the civic leader in VPC, aka vomits per capita. That's a bit of a value judgment. I'll level with you. But my parents told me... My mom, for whatever reason... Oh, hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot. Um, she has always wanted to go to a couple of American cities. She always wanted to go to San Francisco. She got to go there on a business trip in, like, 2000. And then apart from that, she always wanted to go to Nashville... And Louise uh, and New Orleans and she went to both of them and like Nashville she was like it was pretty okay I liked it New Orleans they were like we will never go back <laughs> she was like the city's really cool it's got lots of great history and also downtown everywhere just smelled like piss and bomb at 24 7 okay. all right fair enough Killed by hollows, dude. I can't really, like... It's not like there aren't parts of Vancouver that smell like piss and vomit. You just kind of learn where you should go and where you shouldn't. Like, if somebody went to Vancouver and they were like, Hey, I was down at... Uh, was that intersection that I was at? I'm like, you were probably at Main and Hastings. And they're like, yeah, that's the one. Uh, what's going on there? And I'm like, ah, it's... Don't go there. <laughs> He's done it. 
You can just say Hastings in anything and you'll know it's bad. No, like, well, kind of. East Hastings in anything is a little bit dicey. West Hastings has, has some real nice stuff on it. So I'm just, honestly, like, you lost your chance to get me to have fun there. A scale. A broken straight sword. Here's the deal. I'll face you one at a time. This doesn't bother me at all. Okay, it's bothering me slightly. That was close. I mean, I'll give you my, my honest opinion on American cities. The first thing I would say is just keep in mind... Um, I'm going to try to fight this guy, even though he's going to gobble my points and get very mad. There's a reason people live in the city they live in. Sometimes it's good reasons, sometimes it's like inertia. Some people, they just like different things. So whenever I... Lucky me on that one. If I say, like, the city you live in sucks, don't get offended. Because a lot of people think Vancouver sucks. I think Vancouver's awesome. I think there's parts of it that are real shitty. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> but uh, people have very strong opinions about Vancouver as well. So, like, I like San Francisco. I like... Portland. I like Seattle. So you're getting the very specific picture of the kind of person that I am right now. I like cold brew coffee, the occasional craft beer, and expensive brunches. Um, I actually, I liked San Jose as well. I think New York is great. But definitely not for me. Um, and then, now we get into the parts <laughs> where I'm like, gonna offend some people. Um, I did not like LA, like, at all. Um, I thought LA had amazing food. I agree with that 100%. And we were staying in downtown LA. People have told me that like downtown LA is like the worst part to be in. No one likes downtown. Yeah, but like what part do you go to? If you don't have a car. Um. The Koreatown was pretty cool, I'll admit. But I'm kind of like... We already have, like, a great Koreatown. Well, it's not Koreatown, but, like... Big parts of the Tri-Cities in Vancouver that are, uh... You know, they have amazing Korean food and culture, so I'm like... You know. I'm not, I'm not seeing much that I wouldn't be able to see where I live at home. Um... Anyway, yeah, I know I'm not offending anybody because even people that live in LA are like, we get it. <laughs> it kind of sucks. But it sucks in the way that I like. Um, I'll also tell you, and I know this one's a little bit more controversial, but I mean everything that I've ever said about Boston. I get that it's just the cultural difference. But every time I'm in Boston, I'm like, why are you so rude? I just don't... Like, what, what happened that made it so the culture in Boston is like, fuck you, get, don't come back to Boston. I don't understand.
as a Bostonian, my feelings are hurt, but I also understand. I, I think that's... I think that's appropriate. I mean, I had great food in Boston. Architecture's beautiful. Tons of history. This city is on the water. It's got a lot going for it. But I just don't understand why so many of the people are so short. Not like physically short, but like they're so short with their words. How did you feel about London? This is going to sound hypocritical given what I've just said. But I don't really feel like I can judge London too much by like the week that I spent there. It's just too big. Like... Here's what, I'll, here's what I'll say about London. I live in like maybe one of the top 10 most expensive cities to live in on, er on Earth. And every time I had a meal in London, I went, what the hell? Like, I'm, I'm being pranked right now. This... <laughs> there is no way this meal was worth like 80 Canadian dollars. As a Canadian and soon-to-be father, would you agree that Justin Trudeau looks like a daddy with his quarantine beard? I love my daddy. My superhero. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. Dude, that was Soler. <laughs> I don't think Vancouver even makes the top three most expensive cities in North America. You can say that to me, I won't get offended. But if you say that to a Vancouverite, they'll be like, what the fuck did you just say? Did you just say it's not outrageously expensive to live in this city? We have to fight. We have to fight now. I mean, real estate is expensive, like, insanely expensive in Vancouver. However, I... W There's the bonfire. I will say, um, the, the cost of living on a day-to-day -day basis is high, but it's not like... I mean, it's not London, and it's not San Francisco, and it's not New York City. And I hate to say it, but I kind of uh, treat, when I say San Francisco, I also mean San Jose and, you know, I mean all, all of the, all of the satellite cities of San Francisco that have high cost of living because of the industry in San Francisco. Yeah, the Bay Area. San Francisco, San Jose, you know, Novato, etc., etc. Van is 39th most expensive. Actually, it doesn't surprise me. Yo, it's a boss fight, dude. Seattle's toxic. See, I actually, like, I love Seattle. Um, hello, Ernstine. I can understand why someone would go. Well. One second, I gotta focus on destroying this man or being destroyed. I haven't decided yet. What is that? What the heck? That's a new one. Don't tell me you have one of those. Oh, great move, actually. As someone who grew up in Seattle, I hate, or I love the city, but I hate the people who moved here. Yeah, I recognize that. Like, in some ways, I'm kind of like, I'm probably an element of Vancouver that people who were like born in Vancouver dislike. That was like, you know, 
I well, I mean, I moved here because Kate lived here. But I was also like, there's a lot to like. <laughs> you know, the weather's beautiful. But I also sometimes I'm like, because people in Vancouver, there's a lot of like anger in this city because of the divide between. You know, people that can afford a house and people who uh, work a normal job with an average salary. Who feel, for whatever reason, like they should be able to afford, like, a human right. Like, owning shelter. Um, it's weird. Um, but I'm also, like, whenever they're, like... You know, I hate the people that moved here. I'm like, yo. Your parents moved here. It's not like your parents just... Spawned out of thin air in uh, in Burnaby, you know they came here from like Guelph or or Hamilton or something because the weather was good, and then you know they they probably bought a house, and when they bought the house, other people down the street were like, "Oh, son of a bitch!" Now I'm not going to be able to buy that house because they sent the property prices through the freaking. Roof. Now it is insane now, but. I'm just saying. Plus, if you live in Vancouver, you shouldn't hate us. We're good Vancouverites. We don't lie to the Canada Revenue Agency. We don't drive uh, souped up Lamborghinis with the end sticker on the back. Like, oh, this is just my starter Lamborghini. Not yet, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, what's going on behind me? What is that that's going on out there? Oh, what a hit. You might have saved me, though. No, 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 no. You didn't save me. Oh, I didn't think you had to reach Floyd Mayweather. Anyway, I don't know any of the, uh, I don't think I've been to any other American city for any length of time. Like, I went to Minneapolis, well, okay, rephrase, I flew out of Boston to Minneapolis to connect to Vancouver, and then when we got to Minneapolis, they were like, shit's fucked, you gotta stay here tonight, and I was like, thanks, Delta, um, so, I don't really have a, a big sample size of Minneapolis. I, I've only been to the hotel and the airport. <laughs> um, that's true. I actually, you know what? Being in Pittsburgh, I was like, Pittsburgh's pretty cool. I enjoyed the, I enjoyed the cosmopolitan, Rust Belt meets Silicon Valley, uh, makeup of of Pittsburgh. Like a little, a little blue collar grit. But also, like, people were polite. Send the elevator back down. That's a loser's mentality. I, I refuse. Plus, I wanted to not like, um, Primanti Bros. But it's a genuinely great sandwich chain. So I got a I got nothing but love for Pittsburgh except for the fact that they made up their own words for stuff which is just like Look, if you're like New York and you make up your own words for stuff, okay, you're New York. But come on, you're Pittsburgh. You really need your own language. It's too much. Thank you. I at least got my souls back. Oh, yeah. Boys. Hey, NL, have you considered using your weapon art sometime? It gives you poise. Oh, really? 
It gives me the exact thing that I've been asking for. Why would I ever use that? What are you doing there? That's what you're doing there. This is a good move. I got sip time. I got sip time. Hey, stop that. He's closing in. Big smash. That was a that was a big smash. No 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 no. He, they're, they're throwing the butterfly farts at me again! <laughs> Chicago, I have nothing but love for the idea of the city of Chicago, but I've never been there. But I have seen many episodes of The Good Wife. Seems like a cool place. The only place... I've been to in Chicago is O'Hare International Airport, which is pretty high up the list of worst places on planet Earth. Um, it's an absolutely bottom tier airport for sure. You been to LA? I have. I think that LAX is nicer than O'Hare. LAX is not great. But O'Hare is like horrible. McCarran in Vegas is top tier. Can we all agree? You know what? I do not like Las Vegas. I don't like the Strip, at least. I've never been to the city proper, really. But the airport, it's amazing how well organized and maintained that airport is for the level of tourists they get. And also, the fact that probably 95% of people leaving Las Vegas are blackout drunk when they get on the plane. I could not believe how clean it was. Hey, you don't get to do 270 degree hits on my watch, brother. Wow, he just killed me. <laughs> What's your favorite airport? It's not fair because I live there, but Vancouver International Airport is the best airport I've ever been to in North America. It also wins North American Airport of the Year like every year, which is not something that I follow. The only reason I know is because every time you go to YVR, they have signs everywhere. They're like, best airport in North America from like 2008 to 2019. Minneapolis was pretty nice. Logan was horrible. Both of the New York airports that I've been to are also terrible. Um, SFO is okay. LAX is pretty bad. I thought Toronto was bad until I went to the Montreal airport. So I, I'm inclined to say that, you know, maybe the Toronto airport, I've been giving it a bad rap all these years. I was like, this thing is so much worse than the Vancouver airport, it must suck. Then I went to uh, Trudeau airport in Montreal and I was like, man. I've, had, I've, been, I've been giving Pearson a raw deal. I'll say for Logan, like with the Boston airport, um, part of the reason I hate it is because the Canadian terminal has like eight gates that are all in one room past security. And you just sit there with a carafe of like Tim Horton's coffee for everybody. There's there's two bathrooms, but like no facilities. Like there's there's a couple of vending machines, but no like restaurants or anything. Like the and that's just that's Canadian bias, I'll admit. But run. 
Vancouver was ranked sixth for large airports. Sixth in the world or sixth in North America? Because, like, look, I'm a homer for sure. I love the Vancouver airport. However, uh, Incheon is better. Uh, Narita is better. Every time I see like a list of easiest Dark Souls 3 bosses, this guy's always like, it's not really a challenge to fight this guy. I've been lied to, I've been lied to. I've actually, I've never flown into Haneda. All the direct flights from Vancouver to Japan go through uh, Narita. But I thought Narita is like, it's fine. All right, turns out he actually is really easy. You're absolutely right. It's so loud. By Asian airport standards, I hate Narita. By North American standards, it's fine. That's pretty fair, to be honest with you. Actually, I hate to say it. Do we have any, any Icelanders in chat? I flew into Iceland in 2012, and I was like, this airport's really nice, really clean, wide open. This is a, this is a nice airport. Then, I flew out of Iceland last year, well, in 2018, and I was like, this airport is fucked. They messed it up. I don't, I don't know if they're doing construction or something, or they're doing some kind of expansion. They did something wrong. when they, In 2012, it was perfect. You were doing great stuff. In 2018, something's gone horribly wrong. It also is, and I've, I know I've talked about this on the show uh, previously, but... Farewell. It had one of the weirdest things I've ever seen, which was a convenience store past security, where you need to show your boarding pass to be able to purchase, like, potato chips or, like, a lunch or something. And the whole time, I was like... I live in Canada. I'm used to bureaucracy. But I was like, this just seems like an extreme... Like, this is making the, inef the airport so inefficient that when you buy lunch, you gotta be like, can I see your boarding pass? They're very polite, but, you know, can I see your boarding pass? And you're like, oh, one second, I got it in my backpack. You go into the backpack, you gotta grab the thing out, and then you pass it to them, and they circle it, they check it to make sure it's not a joke boarding pass, just so that you could get a, a cheap... Nine dollar sandwich. No, no, no. We're moving on. We're making a little progress here. That's the joke. The joke is it's not cheap. It was bad, though. That airport experience is not good. I'm sorry, Kaflavik. You, you, you had... You had every chance and every right, and you, you screwed it up. You should sample Melbourne. Hey, uh, Australia, maybe if you want me to visit you, you should try uh, not being so far away. Dummies. The Duke's Archives. Hello, Seath. Even larger hat, Logan.
Also, our borders are closed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great, great repost on that one. Um, excuse me, where is this? Where, where did Crystal Sage go? You're gone? Okay. Really noted. I mean, the borders are closed everywhere. I understand. Whoops, I popped a soul instead of an Estus. How have you flown so much? When I was younger, I was dumber. And I thought that uh, every time I got invited to travel for something, I should do it. Because, like, oh, you know, I've never been to this place. I've never been to this place. And then, like, when I got a little older and I'd been to a few places, I was like, you know what? I just like being at home. Home's pretty good. Plus, you know, I'm not going to say you've seen one place, you've seen them all. But, like, a lot of major cities are kind of just like, I get it, you know. McDonald's, McDonald's, Burger King. Whoa, here you call Pizza Hut the Pizza Tavern. Click, click, click. That's me taking 20 photos to put on Twitter. Like, I mean, there, that's not totally fair. Like, there's there's really cool stuff. I mean, probably in every country, right? Like, Iceland is a super cool place to visit, for sure. Sweden was really cool to visit. Japan's always nice. Korea's always nice. But I also just like... Um being at home go ahead put whatever resin you want on like kate will vouch for it. i don't know if she's still in chat but like i'm people are like nl is a bad traveler no 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 i'm a great traveler i'm easy going i'll eat anything believe it or not i don't get grumpy easily so, like, if I'm traveling and, like, the day's been a little bit whack, I'm still like, yeah, let's go on an adventure tonight. But when I get home, I am also like, ah, this is, why did I ever leave this place? <laughs> this place has got everything I need. We're chunked up on a Thursday afternoon. Are you illusory? I'm not fully boomerized. I just know, because I've traveled, I know uh, what travel is. So a lot of people, they think they're better than other people because they're like, oh, really? You think you're really cool. Well, I spent one spring break in northern Italy, so I consider myself very worldly. Having been to, I don't know, they still, I'm not that well traveled. I've maybe been to a dozen countries that are not Canada. And lived in Asia for for a year. I've dunked it. <laughs> um, I'm like, it's all this. People, I don't want to say people are the exact same everywhere, but they're, they're doing the same shit. It doesn't matter where you go. People are like, you know, what are you doing today? Buying groceries. It's not like if you live in China, you like wake up in the morning and you're like, ah, I'll just go for a nice morning walk on the Great Wall of China, you know? They're like, screw that, I gotta go to work. Uh... I mean, I even see it in Vancouver. Like, I, I think it's funny. I'll be like downtown in Vancouver, people will be taking photos of stuff, and I see it like, all the time. And I'm like, why are you taking a photo of that? That's just the coffee shop. Wax protects you from the phantom heads? Yo. Double waxed up on a Thursday. Oh no, you're on my side. <laughs> it's 
still do it anyway. It's not like, oh, people can't enjoy mundane stuff. All I mean is, like, you know, when you live in a place, you kind of take it for granted, I guess. So traveling, if anything, is, for me, just a way to, you know, because you don't see things that often, you appreciate them more because of their relative rarity, I suppose. You'd be like, wow, where I'm from, we eat pork. Where you're from, you eat reindeer. Isn't that weird? Thoughts on the awesome Golden Goblet this week? Uh, thank you for saying it's awesome. I can't roll. I, I, I can't roll. You got super waxed? Oh, no. Oh, there we go. I'm glad people are enjoying it. Because it's been... You are a jerk. It's been imbalanced. Honestly, like, I, I'll take the heat on that. It's so hard to find levels that work. Because, like, I want a level that takes me more than... At, at least more than five minutes. But I also would prefer to not have to say to my friend, Hey, here's your next three-hour video. So we're, I'm working on it, but it's taking some time. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, people are like, does Malf enjoy it? Well, I mean, I've been talking to Malf, because, I mean, I'm a... Like, I, I probably shouldn't say, like, I'm a good person, but that is what I was about to say, you know? Malf left a message in the Discord that was like, hey, that last level took me three hours, and I said, oh, shit, sorry, dude. It wasn't my intention to give you a level that took you, like, three hours. Like, the length of a full NLSS to to do. But he, I was like, you know, my bad. I'll make sure we got easier ones for the future. And he was like, you know, I think he had a very good approach to it. Oh, no, I'm double waxed, aren't I? Not quite. He was like, you know what? I was worried people wouldn't enjoy um, me being kind of not that great at Mario, and that people would be, like, rude about it, but instead, people are really digging the narrative of, like, having the tenacity to actually complete the level. And I was like, you know, I think that's that's the perfect attitude to take into something like that. Don't do it. Don't shoot me. He do be shooting me. F this area, dude. Can't help but notice that pretty much for the whole stream today, um, every single area has been like, F this area, dude. Were we wrong? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I don't believe so, no. I like, um... Oh, dude, you're right. Check for Valorant Key. Hey, don't shoot me. I'm checking my Valorant Key, dude. No Valorant Key. But I did get gifted a subscription to Full Grown Gaming. Thank you. Thank you. Big ups to whoever in Kyle's chat gave me the subscription. Thank you. <clears throat> I mean, technically that's worth more than a Valorant key because Valorant is a free game and the subscription is five bucks, so I'm not sweating it. How did you live? I don't buy it. So someone asked, how are you feeling about Dark Souls 3? I did not mean to ember, but let's roll with it. Um, I think that Dark Souls 3 mechanically is very good. However, having played more of it over the past week, I'm like, you know what? 
Dark Souls 1 is still my preferred choice of those two. Or of these two, I should say. There's, there's some crappier areas, for sure, in Dark Souls 1. I mean, Lost Isolith is like... It has no reason to exist. Lost Isolith generates no joy for anybody. But I feel like it has more village slash castle type areas. And that's really what I want from... Wow. Good move, honestly. That's really what I want out of Dark Souls, is as, as many villages and castles as possible. Please don't hit me while I'm touching my Shriving Stone. The DLC is strong. That's that's good news. That's good. I mean, I don't, I'm. Let's be clear. I'm not saying this is anything less than great. But I do think it is a little bit lower than than Dark Souls One on my power rankings, for sure. Where am I? I'm back at the entrance. No, I don't need to go speak to you. Oh, maybe I do, actually. How does it rate against Bully? It's at least, like, 40 times better than Bully. I know nobody wants to hear it, but Bully is garbage. You know what? Let's take another run at this. I've got no problems with Rockstar. I very much, you know, I enjoy... Grand Theft Auto 5. I think GTA 5 is a great game. Um... Vice City, one of my favorite games of all time when I was a teenager. Bully is is horrible. Just let me dip my head in the freaking wax. Okay, we're just going to run. Ember up again, so you got the health bar. And then go for it. Thanks. You know what? How do you feel about that shit right there? Opened up the little shortcut to save ourselves two seconds. I would probably not play Bully 2 on stream. <laughs> Even for the meme. I can't stress enough. Like, the, you saw me be miserable while playing Bully, but I'm a professional. The level of misery you saw me display was nothing compared to the misery I felt inside. And the only thing that kept me going was the idea that, like, one day it's over and I'll never have to see it again. So I, I can't betray myself like that. Got, got him. Got, got by him. Oh my god. We should have been dead. We were like a micrometer from going over the edge there. Yo, the ember saved you. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
No! You were dead, dude. Crystal scroll. So I'm gonna tell you my my number one complaint about Dark Souls 3 so far is really like annoying areas for sure. Um, my number two complaint is y'all went a little hard on the illusory walls, huh? Like to some extent, and I know that this is the exact criticism I fell into before. But it was like, it's like Miyazaki did like an exit interview for Dark Souls 1. And he was like, oh, what, what were your favorite moments in Dark Souls 1? And then everybody was like, oh, you know, when I like went to kick open that chest and the chest had arms and it swallowed me whole. That was a great moment. And then also I love finding secrets. Like when I hit that wall in Blight Town and it opened up the whole area of the Great Hollow, like my mind exploded. And then he, you know said to the team, all right, please put 100 mimics and four illusory walls in every biome from this point forward. Will we see a Dark Souls bosses tier list? That is something, to be honest with you, that I would like to do. But I need to beat Dark Souls 2 again first. It's been a long time. Can't wax. I can't roll, I'm too waxed up. Um, I mean, I've beaten Dark Souls 3. Or sorry, Dark Souls 2. I've decided that is not worth it. Legitimately, like, probably seven or eight times, but I have not done it since within three or four months of its release. All right, Kate, I am almost done. I just need to get to a bonfire, and perhaps there is one boss up here, but I don't really recall. Just grab it. It's worth it. What are you? You're like nothing. You're supposed to be scary. What the heck is that that's going on out there? That's Gwyn. I, why is every memory of Dark Souls 3 in my head is tied to Mathis somehow? Like, even in this area, I was like, I remember being here with Mathis. What went wrong with my brain when I played this the first time? That, like, every memory is just tied to Mathis. Like, I have vivid but clearly false memories of playing this co-op with Mathis. What the heck happened? I have no idea. <laughs> I truly do not understand. It's like some... Whatever, I don't need the crystals anymore. It's like some Mandala effect stuff. I mean, I'm living in the Baron Stain universe. Okay, congrats, you hit me. It's not hard. Stop swinging for a second and start, like, you know, dodging. How about talk less, play more? He's shutting up. <laughs>
Is this a dead end? No. Okay. You have to drop? Yeah, but isn't this where we were? Or am I losing it? Oh, you drop onto the roof. Keep it moving. You know what? Nah. I see what you're doing, and I say no. Hello, weird dragon. Yo, is that Onion Man? Thought I heard Onion Man singing? This is the area where Josh's YouTube playthrough of this stopped. <laughs> I can understand. I can understand why. Um... There's a ladder back there. Ah. There you go. We've kicked the ladder. All right, chat. We're on. We're. We're late. Where's the bonfire? Through there. Which there? Door. The open area you just ran away from. Thank you. That's that's very good feedback. The game's got a lot of doors. It's got a lot of theirs. That was specific and beautiful. Alright. Hello. Oh my god. This is getting out of hand. Now there are three of them. Oh my lord, dude. Sorry, I got one Estus. I'm not sweating it. I am sweating it. Get that. Unnecessary. I'll see you. <laughs> this was a very boss poor run of Dark Souls today. But it was a fun stream nonetheless.